Now that we've had a chance to compare Compressor 4 with Telestream episode, I want to switch back to Compressor 4 for a minute to showcase how to do job chaining. Job chaining is a huge time saver when you need to create multiple versions of the same file and you find yourself applying the same settings to each version. See, job chaining allows you to take the output of one process, say scaling, and make it the input to a second process, typically compression. Typical uses for job chaining are to scale or change the size of an image, deinterlace, add color correction, add a watermark, anything which only needs to be done once to a file. We basically process the file twice. We do all this pre-processing and then we do the compression. Now it sounds tricky, but compressor makes this easy. Here's a, a short dramatic scene that I want to be able to compress for Vimeo and for YouTube and for a local website. It's shot XDCAM, it's 1287.20 and it looks great but it's too big and it's the wrong format and I want to add a watermark. Well, Compressor 4 and Job Chaining makes that straightforward and simple. First, we're going to add our file. Click the Add File button and let's go to the desktop because I stored it there just for simplicity and we'll pull in the movie of our actors. You see that we've got the complete scene here. All right, now that we've got the, the movie set, what, I'm, what I've done is I've created a preset that's going to scale the movie to 50% add a watermark. And I'm going to store this, and we're going to give this a name of temp. Because this is going to be our interim file. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to scale it to 50% size. We're going to add a watermark. If we select the setting, not the job, but the setting, and go to job, new job with target output, it creates a second iteration. See this chain here. When this file gets scaled to 50%, the watermark gets added. Say I do color correction or say I want to do deinterlacing. I do all of this stuff, pre-process the file in that first job. Then the output of the top job gets linked to the second job. It takes the output of job one and makes it the input to job two. Then all I have to do is compress the file. I've created two compression settings, one that compresses for my local website, so I'll just drop that on top of this job here, and one that compresses the file for YouTube. Because this linked file is already at the right size, it's been scaled, it's already watermarked, it's already deinterlaced, because all that was done one time up here, and all that I have to do in the second job is to simply compress it using these different compression settings. If you're in the process of doing the same thing over and over for multiple websites, or the same file has to have multiple compression settings, you're going to discover that job chaining can save you a tremendous amount of time because you're not doing the same scaling, adding a watermark, color correction, deinterlacing over and over and over again. This is a huge time saving when you're doing multiple files inside a single day. Once you're done, as we've discovered, you click the submit button and you send it off either to your own cluster, which we'll talk about, or to your local computer for further compression. The only time that job chaining does not make sense is if you are compressing a single file for a single setting. You're not going to save any time with job chaining. But if you're taking a single file and creating multiple versions, job chaining can save you a huge amount of time. Next, I want to switch back over to Telestream episode and show you how we can use episode to create Flash and Windows files, FLV and WMV files, using episode. And this is something that Compressor can't do.